Another example is NYCFC. Now this situation is worse than the rest because their ownership groups own teams that are far more popular than NYCFC and they've been around much longer. The Steinbrenner family who owns the Yankees has a 20% stake in NYCFC, while the majority owner, City Football Group, owns Manchester City of the English Premier League. Manchester City, their value, their worth is somewhere around 1.4 billion, while NYCFC is around 255 million. You see the conflict of interest? The team that has the most value gets the most attention. The team that has the most value gets treated better. The team that has the most value, their needs are taken care of first and much faster than the team of lesser value. It's like, it's like a man that has two girlfriends. The prettier girl gets the cruise on a private yacht while the other girl gets a date to the movies. Manchester City is that prettier girl that gets the filet mignon and the fancy wine. While NYCFC, they just get, she gets, she just gets popcorn and Kool-Aid. Think about it, NYCFC. Do you think that Citigroup would allow Manchester to be homeless due to a parking garage dispute? The Yankees, their value, their worth is somewhere around 3.4 billion. They are also the prettier girl to the other owner, which is the Steinbrenner family. NYCFC, you're not only the side chick to one rich guy, you're the side chick to two rich guys. And Major League Soccer isn't intervening because they're that big brother that just wants to be accepted by the cool guys. They want to be viewed as a real league so badly that anybody who comes along, they'll roll with them. Anybody who accepts them, they're happy. They're that type of brother who's not popular but desires to be popular so badly that when they see the popular guys mistreating their sister, he won't intervene and do nothing because he wants and needs that popularity status.